Hi everybody, I thought I would share with you some ways you can garden on a dime. Now if you got, went to the traditional hardware stores or gardening stores, it could be quite expensive to get plants and soils and amendments and all that kind of stuff. So to get around that, you could still do gardening really well. So let's start with the ground options that you need. Well, you're going to need good soil. So how do you get that? Well, you can get this actually for free. Now for most gardening, you're going to need a good compost to start your ground soil and mix that in to make a good soil medium to get started on. So to find this, you can go in your local countryside and go around to maybe horse farmers. And if you see any horses or cows or livestock, you can bet they got a pile of compost laying around somewhere. Now, if you're shy, you can go ahead and look on places like Craigslist or Facebook and, and people there would already have listed compost for free or come and take ours. Or you yourself could even put an ad on there saying that you're looking for compost. And you could tell them what kind you're looking for. Maybe you want it already aged and composted or you don't care, you'll just come take the whole pile of whatever they got most farmers would be happy to get rid of some extra that they have laying around. If you're not shy, you can go ahead and go in your own countryside and look at some local farmer nearby and see what they have available and I'm sure they'll be happy to have you come and take away some of the compost they have. And sometimes you can even get uh, blessed enough to find that they will deliver it if you're not that far away. Other soil amendments that you might need to get gardening some things need acidic soil, maybe like roses or blueberries and such. And you want more than just regular compost, you can get amendments as well for free. You know, coffee grinds is, or coffee grounds is a very good amendment for roses and blueberries and other such plants like that. And you can get these for free if you don't drink it, your own coffee. Don't worry, you can get it from coffee houses nearby. They throw it away by the ton. So just go to a local coffee house near you and ask them to save some grounds for you and they'll be happy to give you some of their leftover coffee grounds. Other things for the soil that you might need that also is for free. You can get for covering the ground, you know, for reed protection barriers, you could use cardboards and this is very easy to find. You can get these from I see people all the time give these for free on Craigslist uh, boxes for moving and you can go and pick those up and open and cut them up for your garden very easily for free. So, so far we got the whole soil and ground prepared and you haven't spent a dime except for maybe some gas money to go pick some stuff up. Now for the plants, Enough. well maybe you want to start with seeds. I don't want to buy seeds, I don't have the money for seeds, what do we do? Well. This is very, very easy. Seeds as well. You can get seeds from family, friends, neighbors. They all have seeds available. You'll be surprised. Just start asking. You can also go to a seed swap. You can look those up online in your area and you can swap seeds with people there. I don't have any seeds to swap. How do I swap seeds? Well, go in your backyard, get some grass seeds, some uh, dandelion seeds, whatever, just take something. And even if you don't have anything, people are very generous and they'll probably give you a few anyway. Other places to get seeds is going to plant swaps. Well, this way you have to have plants, but they also also have seeds. So maybe you have something growing in your yard and you could take that and swap it for seeds or plants, uh, a plant swap. Those also you can look up online for local in your area. So plant swaps are very good choices for finding plants so you don't have to start from seeds and if you don't find one in your area you can start one yourself. How? Well you can put an ad on maybe Facebook or Craigslist. These are very highly recommended social medias that are perfect for finding whatever you're looking for and to contact people. So you want to have a plant swap, just put it out there and say you've got plants you want to swap and people will show up, you'll be amazed. You can also get plants from your neighbors, friends and family. 
everyone has their own little yards or something growing and this would also be a great time for you to learn a little bit about cuttings for there are so many plants out there that you and trees fruit trees that you can grow from cuttings so if you learn a little bit about which ones grow from cuttings you'd be able to tell well that neighbor has a raspberry bush I could probably get some of that you know <laughs> or maybe you have uh, mint you know you could share some of that you know this is a cuttings is a great way to easily get lots of plants for your garden and share as well and s swap with neighbors friends and whoever has something that you might want to be growing oh I forgot uh, how about containers you can get uh, containers for potting if you don't want to plant directly. These are very easy to find during the spring season. People are trying to get rid of their old pots and things that they don't need. Maybe they already bought from the garden center. Now they have a pile of pots they're trying to get rid of. Many times I see this on Craigslist. People are just trying to get rid of them for free or on the Facebook, on the marketplace. I will mention these over and over again. They're the perfect places to find so many gardening supplies for free. You will find almost anything that you're looking for. You should find it there. And if you don't find it, put an ad there. Put an ad on the Facebook or put an ad on the Craigslist. And if you don't find it, people will come to you. Another resource you could try is also your local tree service. They have to go around and cut down trees for people. And they usually mulch them up and they have all this mulch lying around so they need to get rid of it and many times they just are looking for people to give it to so if you contact your local tree service that's near you and tell them your situation that you're looking for some and that they could keep your address and call you then when they have some available in your area they will call you and most likely they can even deliver it to you as well so you can have free mulch for your garden and planting of whatever you like okay so there you have it you have your whole garden from the soil to the plants to the amendments everything that you would need for your garden for free you didn't really have to spend anything but a few cents maybe for gas so if anyone else has some things, you can add it in the comments below. If you had thought of something, maybe I forgot. And I hope everyone go ahead and get started at growing something because it's spring, so don't waste it. Grow something. <laughs> Happy gardening.